Hi, today I'd like to show you how to use Stellarium in a full dome pro system. What I have behind me here is a three meter dome with a full dome pro projection server. On the table, I have a Windows PC with an NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card and two monitors connected via DisplayPort cables. The dome is a third monitor which is connected via HDMI. You can see now, when I go to 360 Dome Manager and switch to Live Input in fisheye mode, that the dome has become my third display. My main display is this one here, and I've extended the display onto the second monitor, which I've arranged to be on the right of the main display. And I've also extended the display to the dome which I've arranged to be on the left of the main display. You can see when I drag this Google Chrome window from the main display to the second display on my right, or that I can drag it all the way across here onto the dome. What I'm about to show you could be done with just the one monitor and the dome, but having the two monitors here will make it a bit easier to see what is happening and to switch between applications. Normally when you open Stellarium, it opens on the main display and by default, it opens in perspective projection. For the dome, we want to use fisheye projection and we want to show it on the dome screen, not on the main window. All this can be set up in the main configuration file, but for now, we'll just do it manually. To make it easier for you to see what I'm doing, I'll change the time to midday and I will turn on the ground, the atmosphere, and the compass points. You can see now that we have a clear blue sky with the sun shining brightly. And the sun's up there somewhere. Now let's open the view settings window by clicking on the icon on the menu on the left, and we'll change it to fisheye. And having done that, it's a good idea to also set our custom field of view limit to 180 and then I can close the settings window. And I'll zoom back out by pressing Control Alt 1. Now you can see that we're in the middle of a field. The location here is Melbourne, Australia, and we're looking at the southern sky. Now I'm gonna open the configuration window with F2, and under Tools select Disk Viewport. And you can see my Stellarium window looks a bit like a dome screen. Let's drag that window over here onto the dome and press F11 to make it fill the screen. Now when I move my mouse pointer, just here, I can drag that view around. Um, but if I try to use the menus, it's very difficult because they are off the corner of the screen. This is because Stellarium is running in a square window, but we can't see the corners because the dome screen is round. Also, I'm trying to move my mouse pointer uh, on a two-dimensional surface, but the screen is three-dimensional, so it's a little bit confusing. What we're gonna show you now is how you can also display Stellarium on the second monitor by using NDI. To do this, you will need NDI tools, which can be downloaded for free from ndi.tv. I've already got them installed here, so I'll open the NDI launcher and start screen capture. And then I'll go down here and just check that I'm also capturing the mouse pointer, and then I will open Studio Monitor. I need to select a source, so I click the menu button here, and I choose NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 2, which is my monitor. And you can see there now I have the dome display. It's all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna drag it across to my second monitor here and make it fill the screen. So now I can see what's on the dome display. But if I click here, nothing's happening. And that's because I'm actually on this window here. What I need to do is move all the way across onto the dome. And you can see there, 
As I move off the left edge of my main monitor, I come in here, there you can see my mouse pointer on both screens. I can just look at this screen here instead of the dome and everything I do here is reflected. I can navigate the menus much easier, so I can there bring up the night sky and we can start selecting objects and everything I do on the dome screen is appearing here on my second monitor. This makes it much easier for you to use Stellarium in the dome. All this can be set up in the config any files and you can use that to automatically launch Stellarium. So what I'll do now is close it and show you that I've already made a shortcut which I will now open and launch. And this means that you could be playing a movie here like so on the dome and you launch Stellarium, it automatically starts up and then in 360 Dome Manager, I can just go and switch to Fisheye, and there's Stellarium all ready to go. We hope you found this video useful for making the most of Stellarium in your Dome. We'll be creating more videos for using Stellarium and other third-party apps in Domes and releasing them on our YouTube channel. We'll also be adding some how-to documents to our newly created support page on the Full Dome Pro website. Go to www.fulldome.pro forward slash support to check it out and also subscribe to our U channel so you'll see any new videos. Thanks again.